Dear viewers of Madani channel, insha'Allah today, we'll be learning about the blessings of telling the truth from an account of the life of Ghosi Azam radiallahu anhu. When Ghosi Azam radiallahu anhu was a young boy, he left his hometown in the search of knowledge. On the path, the caravan was attacked by a gang of robbers. The gang of robbers went to each person and took their wealth and took their money away from them. When they went to Ghosi Azam, Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani radiallahu anhu, they asked him, oh young boy, what do you have? He said, I have 40 dinars, which were given to me by my mother, sewn inside my clothing. The robbers thought, this boy must not be telling the truth. They continued on. When they reached their leader, they informed their leader, we took the wealth of each and every individual. But there was one young boy who claimed to have 40 dinars sewn inside his clothing. The leader said, go to him and ask him where they are. So now they went to Ghosi Azam radiallahu anhu and they asked about these 40 dinars. Ghosi Azam radiallahu anhu said these 40 dinars are sewn in such and such parts of my clothing and when they checked, those 40 dinars were actually there. The leader of the robbers then asked Ghosi Azam radiallahu anhu, Oh young man, why did you tell the truth? Everybody else tries to hide the fact that they have wealth away from us, but you told us the amount that you had. Ghosi Azam radiallahu anhu told the robbers, the reason I did this was because when I left my home, my blessed mother gave me one piece of advice and she told me, O oh, Abdul Qadir, always speak the truth. When they heard this, the leader of the robbers looked at Ghosi Azam radiallahu anhu and said, O oh, young boy, you have fulfilled this promise of your mother and here I am going against the promises that I have made with my Allah Azza wa Jal. Immediately, the leader of the gang of robbers repented from his sins, stepped onto a life of piety, and all of the other robbers repented too. Such great blessings of telling the truth. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. I must strive to rectify myself and the people of the whole world.